Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 5 and 6 of Black Bullets. Let's go ahead and get started on episode 5 and 3, 2, 1, go. Maybe I should turn myself up louder. No, oh, of course. I can't. Why don't you just, well, yeah, you can't really homeschool her because in a way you don't really have much time. Exactly. Really? Well, yeah, but it's not that bad to have more, you know? Hmm? Well, you look a little suspicious.
why. Hell, you still might get it, but damn, like. Poor thing, you need to get cleaned up. Well, um... <laughs> there we go. Oh! <laughs> Pills? Or just candy? Oh, caffeine. Icky, yeah. Okay, yeah. What is your name? Okay. Tina, easy. Mm. Okay, where's your apartment, ma'am? she need <laughs> that too oh god Tina you might as well take her home You cannot have this little girl just walking around by herself. You are not letting that little girl. You let the damn little girl walk around by herself. What the hell is wrong with you? The child. little bitch oh she 
was fucking with him. What the hell? You, you know, once again, children are smarter than we all realize. Oh my god. I wouldn't go near her. She might kill you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So does that mean we gotta kill Tina? Damn, and I liked her too. Seriously? <laughs> this bitch literally asking for a fight. Oh my god. Makes sense. Wait, wait, Kisahara, you know, uh, your Hanakawa, uh, your Hanakawa is definitely showing, baby, but like, no, we, we ain't gotta do this. Let's think about it. Food comes first. Oh, God. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. 
It is. It is. I get that. Oh, damn!
Do you sense Tina? Cause then if any is right as like freaking Andrew wakes up, ish happens. Yeah, but that sound Oh, boo boo, you already met him. Yeah, so I'm just going to tell me in the next episode, these two are going to see each other with this situation. And then it's just going to be like, oh my God, Tina. Tina, what the fuck? <laughs> Tina, what the fuck is he? <laughs> like, oh. But yeah, like, Tina, oh God. Something tells me if they didn't show that it was Tina, and especially with the fact is like, you know, when Tina's out during the day, she kind of really has, like, memory loss in a way. Because it seems like she does have a little bit of memory loss. And that fucks is just the only way is because she's nocturnal. She eats caffeine to make her stay up and it's like that. But when it's during the nighttime, she is really, truly herself 100%. And it seems like um, the caffeine that she uses is for her, almost like a battery in a way for her. So during the night, she's more active, and then during the day, she's more sleepy and such. And so she can't remember the certain things that she did, like where her apartment is, or this, is that, and the third. But once it's a certain amount of time, this girl remember everything, and she walking home like it's nobody's business. This child, little teeny tiny bit of a child, put a freaking man in the hospital. But something tells me her master is the guy who literally went and worked with the other two who were also guarding What's-Her-Face, went up to Rentaro, had it felt a little certain type of way, because something about him ain't right either, so come on now. That make no sense. <laughs> well, I mean, because it, cause it, it makes the most sense, really, because why would you show him and then have him be a little bit suspicious and then you show Tina all up in this episode and Tina is essentially talking to her master but we haven't seen her master so hopefully in the next episode her master does show up um seeing G <laughs> Gisa and um the other chick with um at a dinner together very very interesting I mean Yes, you can see that both of these girls are very much the quote-unquote jealous type. Andrew was kind of one of those two, but I feel like because it seems like both. It, it seems like Kisahara kind of has a crush on Rintaro, but not as much as like Andrew and um the other girl. She doesn't, you know, express herself more with it. Kisahara is very much like a a work type person. She is like, I care about this right now. Yeah, I care about food because homegirl came and she was like, hey, cook this. I'm running low. I need something. But I think right now she's the type of girl who doesn't really give a fuck about love or just like having a relationship with a guy. She is just like that independent bad bitch. Like, I need to do this. I need to worry about this. And then 
when I am at like this high point, then I can worry about balancing both my work life and my love life. She's more like 100% in love with her job right now. There are some people in the world who are like that who are specifically 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 200% in love with their job and rather be in love with their job first and then eventually when they're higher up, you know, balance that ish. But she's just one of those. And, and I'm okay with that. I am not mad with that. You do what you do, girl, to get that coin. I mean, hey, whatever floats your boat. But yeah, I, I really hope that like in the next episode we do a really run Toto finds the situation, <laughs> finds out the little thing about Tina because it would make the most sense. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. See, but like, wouldn't it be funny if, let's say Rentado is just walking along next day and Tina's there. And they just like, you know, hang out in this. And then it's nighttime. And then Tina becomes badass Tina. <laughs> like, who knows? Of course, there's Tina. You're literally putting caffeine on that. Well... Funny enough, you were sitting right beside the sniper and you didn't even know it, but you know, hey. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> right beside you! No. Oh, she's so cute. Tina.
Is that late already? Honey, I mean, yes, this is best girl material right here, but like, Jesus, do you need a <laughs> Oh. And of course she locked the door. I mean, you know, you kind of want Kisa Hanamira to get along, but yeah, that's never really going to happen.
guess so. Yeah, go take her on a date or something. Oh. <laughs>
course, because she didn't finish what she started. Poor Tina. That sound again. We hope, though. Mm. 
Oh, God. And she's not going to answer her phone. That's Tina. You would fucking end like that. And you ain't dead. No, she not. No, 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 no. And you just knocked out. That's it. Tina was like, no, okay, girl, I knocked your ass out. Hey, you know, your husband don't calling. You know, I'm going to answer the phone for you even though I ain't going to say any, anything. Like, no, she's okay. She's fine. Nothing bad's happening. No, 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 no. Everybody is okay. She's fine. Everything is digestible. It's okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But, okay. Thank God Kisa Hara is okay, because you know, best girl, queen-ish. But, oh, okay. I mean, yes, Tina has not really killed anybody. And you can tell that Tina hasn't killed anyone because she hesitated, like, right there in the moment to immediately kill Kisa Hara. But then she threw the gun down and she started choking her. And I think she's trying to... How could I say this? She... She wants to kill, but then at the same time, yeah, she's afraid to kill. I think because of the fact is, you know, when you look at a child, she still has that childlike innocence. But because of the fact is she is what she is, there are days where you see her as a child and then there are days where you don't see her as a child. And I think for herself, she's trying to move on from that childlike innocence. And so the only way that she can is by killing someone. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. Is Tina going to die next week? There's a lot of unanswered questions with this because Tina, she's just so pure and innocent and stuff. Especially, you know, when you when we get to see the Tina that we saw from the beginning of episode 5 getting into episode 6 before the fact is that these two saw each other and we've seen, quote unquote, the true Tina and such. But something tells me that, yeah, next week Tina is definitely dying in episode 7, probably episode 8, because the fact is she is a villain in this mini arc. So essentially for it to move on to the next arc, we have to kill her. Or we have to possibly put her in this, like, not a humane society, but like in an underground bunker so that she can't really hurt anyone else. But because her number is so high up, they're going to want to kill her. They're not going to want to keep that child alive. And I hate to say that, but when we're looking at a at Tina as a child, but also as a weapon, because of the fact that she's so higher up, they're going to be able to say, okay, Terminator. Like, she's got to go. When you are that, like, freaking high of a number, and I cannot believe I want to compare this to Akudama Drive, or, like, any type of... Um, prison base or maybe a little bit of a mafia type thing but like depending on like how high up you are it depends on what the hell they're gonna do with her but we ain't gonna know until next week but other than that guys that's my reaction view towards episodes five and six of black bullet if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Friday for Patreons and next next Monday. Next Monday for everybody else for episode 7 and 8. Bye guys!